It's a pool day at the Super Dinosaur World. Raptor is normally chilling. Parasaur is enthusiastically jumping between trampolines. Terry Rex took a small slide whereas T-Rex took a giant slide. Monsieur Terry Rex is resting under the shade and looks around to see what's happening. He sees dinosaurs taking a slide and loving it. Out of curiosity, he even took the slide. Triceratops was quite scared, but Terry Rex is quite excited. Oh, yeah. He has been violated by T Rex. Out of annoyance and pride he throws oil onto the slide. T-Rex couldn't help but fall out of the ring. Everyone was laughing at him and this triggered the T-Rex. He runs after Terry Rex. He took a calculated jump on a trampoline just for the Terry Rex to pull that apart. He feared the T-Rex and hid in the fridge. Knowing that now oh, Terry yeah. can't escape, he goes to fight with the fridge. He realized that the fridge's back isn't there. T-Rex and T-Rex violated a major dinosaur. Ah! Oh no! T-Rex ran for his life. The mighty T-Rex is taking a peaceful walk into the jungle. He surprisingly comes across a luxurious swimming pool. Wow! He immediately runs in and sees many dinosaurs chilling in there. The T-Rex gets himself a cute swimming help and gets into the water. The dinosaurs find this funny since an adult dinosaur doesn't know swimming, and he prefers a cute life support. They all continue to laugh at him. Raptor slides from the top and swims against T-Rex making him fall off the life support and fight for life. T-Rex managed to stand on his own legs. While all the dinosaurs were busy making fun of him. I need to teach this brats a life lesson. He firstly wants to discipline the lady Terry Rex. He shows up as a what? shark and swims around her while she runs away in terror, screaming for help. Then it's Ankylosaurus's turn. He removed the trampoline for his next jump. And Ankylosaurus had greeted the ground. He now finally has to discipline the raptor. T-Rex threw a soap next to the pool. The raptor went sliding onto the wall and then sliding back onto the ground. 
T-Rex began laughing at the spoiled brats while they were unhappy with receiving their own treatment. What? Raptor began chasing the T-Rex to attack while T-Rex was trying to run out of the pool. But just then the Ankylosaurus attacked him. T-Rex somehow manages to escape them and run for his life leaving the brats to hold a grudge upon him that may last a lifetime. There goes the mother dinosaur and her baby. The baby is fed well by her. Both of them have taken a good walk home. There is also a T-Rex who's cunning. Absolutely greedy and mercilessly. He sees the mother and son and decides to approach them. This looks yummy. Give me that meat and I'll spare you both. No, we won't. Now you can leave our place. An intense fight has begun. Oh, yeah! But little does she know, she could only rest in peace forever. Oh, no! The baby T-Rex saw his mom dying in front of him. Nothing could be more painful. Black T-Rex went to eat the meat while the baby T-Rex stood there crying for his mom. This will not be the end and there will be revenge. Baby T-Rex followed the black T-Rex and hid behind a rock and observed him coming. The baby T-Rex pushed the rock down the slope and it hit the black tracks. He did not die but instead saw the baby tracks and began chasing him. The baby T-Rex ran over a rope. And soon a log of wood came and pushed black tracks into a cage, and the cage closed. Oh, finally! Now you don't need to eat meat, because you will be cooked or worse. Baby T-Rex might have taken his revenge. But the grief of his mother's death will still haunt him. The black T-Rex is a peaceful parent for his disciplined young one's raptor, Triceratops, and Stegosaurus. They are happily passing the ball to each other. Unlike the red T-Rex's kid's parasaur, Terry Rex and Ankylosaurus, they just randomly jump on his head until it's on the verge of breaking. And then tickle T-Rex until his sensory nerves stop working. The red T-Rex tries to discipline them by screaming at them. But Terry Rex has his way. He would blow the trumpet onto the T-Rex and he would get sick. They are the reason his ears work only 50%. You guys will only know my worth when I'm gone forever. Apparently, the black T-Rex and red T-Rex are neighbors. The red T-Rex's kids are done with the mischief, so now they're up to rest. These idiots are bugging me so much. Look at them resting after keeping me restless. But I have my ways. Now these idiots will be busy finding the treasure. He throws the treasure box at the Dainu, so that they could get curious and leave soon for the quest. t 
Harry Rex soon began discussing the quest with his remaining Dinos. So guys, this should be a corporate secret. Let's do this mission secretly. Terry Rex is discussing with his fellow Dinos. And the raptor has seen this. He curiously went to eavesdrop their conversation oh, and to yeah. have a glance at what they're holding. They somehow found that map. But we are the actual ones that deserve it treasure. Let's secretly follow them. Raptor and his mates secretly followed the Dinos from behind the woods. And before the Dinos could get there, Raptor and his mates already crossed the pond. Soon Terry Rex and his mates got there and crossed the pond. Raptor and his mates came across a board pointing towards the right. The two dinos went right but the raptor felt reluctant. So the raptor changed the direction of the board and ran towards the right. Terry Rex and his mates took the right as expected. While raptor and the dinos greedily ran for the non-existent treasure. They took the motorboat and sailed to the island. Meanwhile, Terry Rex and his dino came to the same end even if they took the other route. Terry Rex spotted the what? neighbor dinos. Let's go there quickly before these idiots reach. Obviously, Raptor and the gang got there and they took a peek into the trees. And to their surprise, they were invited by the Scorpios. The Scorpios climbed upon their heads and kept stinging. While Terry Rex and the Dinos were enjoying their suffering. Here's our enormous and kind Triceratops resting. And there comes our mini Terry Rex and tells the Triceratops that he's hungry. Both of them are set to munch on some food. They came to the pear farm. I want to eat this. Will you help me plug this piece? Triceratops hits the tree once and many pears fall. Terry Rex and Triceratops ate them quickly. and began marching somewhere. Funnily, two steps of Terry Rex make a step for Triceratops. Hey, I'm really craving to eat apples now. Shall we go and get some? There the dinos began marching to Apple Farm. Please plug the apple for me. Triceratops begins sweeping apples from the tree, while Terry Rex is happily munching. There comes the enormous T-Rex. Seems like he noticed the apple-eating dinos. What? Oh yeah. And he began planning something bad. As expected, T-Rex is setting up a trap. got the trap ready and marched back to get some apples for the trap. Oh yeah! He began dropping the apples towards the trap so that Terry Rex would come eating and eventually fall into the trap. They're all for you, Terry. Continue eating. Our kind Triceratops arranged all apples for mini Terry Rex. Meanwhile, he spotted an apple on the ground. 
and went ahead and ate it. He spotted another. Little does he know that this trap was meant for Terry Rex. Meanwhile, T Rex is hearing the Dainu approaching and mistook that for Terry oh, Rex. Oh, yeah! Finally, the Triceratops got caught in the trap. Poor him. He is trying to escape, but the trap is very hollow. T Rex is shocked to see Triceratops instead of Terry Rex. spotted the T-Rex chasing Terry from afar. He quickly came and rescued Terry Rex from the chase. Rescue successful.